Jump scares are plenty. Welcome to Red Door, Yellow Door. It is a game in which we try to make it to the Yellow Door to escape. It's an anomaly spotter as well. And we'll have to avoid entities such as this. Let's try it out. Let's play it. It's like a chant. Red door, yellow door. Let's go to the store page of this, by the way. So red door, yellow door is a first person psychological horror game, starting with what seems like a normal ritual, but quickly revealing its sinister nature. Beware, something malevolent lurks in the shadows. So we got a yellow door, a red door. We need a one key for that. Let's see what this has to say. To whoever finds this, your journey ends at the red door, the red yellow door. Only through them you can awaken from this nightmare. But beware, not all doors lead to salvation. Choose wisely. Each key you find unlocks new rooms or zones, pushing you deeper into the unknown. Keep your eyes peeled and your mind sharp. Hidden within these shadows is your only way out. Remember, you are not the first to walk these halls, and you might not be the last. Leave something behind for the next wanderer. A sign, a clue, anything to help them escape this place. Good luck, and you may, you may find a way out before it's too late. A fellow traveler. All right. Let's open our first door. Red door, yellow door, any door. Okay, let's go down here. Game looks nice. Has the atmosphere down. I just wish there was more of a story for some of these types of games. Be interesting. Take the phone. No phone message. Got a door down here. There is no flashlight, as far as I know. We need a key for that. Do we have a key here? Two. Alright, we have a key for a door back here somewhere. Oh. Let's answer it. to cry in our ear. What's that door back here? That's door one. The deeper we get into this area, the more horrible it becomes what I hear. Reminds me of the back rooms a bit. We don't know where this door is for this key. And all the doors are not good. Oh. Damn. So some threats demand respect. From afar, proximity invites peril. 
I don't know what happened there. Try it again. Let's see if it's the same. It looks to be. So the key to that one door should be here and it is. So why does the door like jiggle when you get close though without interacting? Phone's gonna ring, right? Probably do well not to answer it anyway. Survived even less that time. I'm gonna go get that key every time because you never know when we're gonna come across that door. But yeah, there is no outrunning any of these enemies. Because we are slow, even while running. Probably by design. So it's just a clock room, let's see. Yep. Let's get on out. Let's go this way. Red door, yellow door. X door. The X key. This is going to be a game of keys. For better or worse. The door we can open. Red door, yellow door. Home cooking. Anything useful? A note? The red door calls to you, its color vibrant against the darkened hallways. Behind it lies the key to your escape, but also the path to unknown dangers. Take heed. Not all keys fit every lock here. Some doors remain sealed, hiding truths that may be never that be, that may be better left untouched. Explore cautiously, for each step forward may lead deeper into the maze. Leave markers. Remember paths and beware of shadows. They whisper of what once was and what yet may yet be may you find the answers you seek within these walls and may they lead you safely home a fellow traveler okay do we have an inventory no all right that door opens fuck he's back shit Don't go in there. <laughs> Not all doors should be open. Hey, I was desperate. For the same amount of time, too. Three minutes and 12. It was 3.11 the first time.
Red door, yellow door. Let's try it again. Screw that key. Let's take a different bath. Of trash nonsense in here. Well, I wouldn't call it trash, but it's nothing important to us. But this note to the cautious explorer a word of warning avoid any entities you encounter in this place. Some speak of a man in a suit and a hat, yep, and a figure that seems almost familiar yet entirely wrong. Others have seen different entities, each more unsettling than the last. These entities are unpredictable and dangerous. Each one has its own way of ensnaring the unwary. Stay alert, stay silent, and find your way to escape. A survivor. Huh. But yeah, so far the game is creative. I just don't like how the enemies appear out of nowhere. Or the entities, or whatever you want to call them. Okay, we, I think we came in that way. Yeah, we did. I'm gonna go this way. So everything remains the same. It's not random in that respect. The entities may be. Oh, we got a bunch of keys here. Oh. This is where we need to put the keys. So we had this key. All right. Gotta remember to come back here. Go on that blue door. Red door, yellow door. Remember, not all deserve to be opened. I'll open this. Too dark. How about this one? This familiar, we've been here, right? Yep. Been in this one. <sighs> I'm afraid to even step out there. There it goes again. Oh. Still died. Oh, staring too long at the unknown. Will erode your sanity. Okay. So you can't look at him. So he survived a bit longer that time. But yeah, that has been a red door, yellow door. Not bad. It's just going to take some practice to get uh, to know where every door is, where everything leads to, etc. Because that's not random. And I missed this note before. You enter the world that seems to be a construct of your mind, a game, they said. But if you're reading this, you know know that you're not alone. I was here too. And this place is far from just a figment of imagination. At first it all feels like a dream, a twisted adventure crafted by your own thoughts. You might think it's all in your head that the doors, the keys, the eerie silence are all part of the game. But there's a lurking truth. This place is real. As real as the fear you'll feel crawling up your spine. A fellow traveler. 
So it looks like you can outrun the entities. I outran the guy in the hat as an experiment. And it worked. He was chasing us for a while. Let's see how far we can get. As long as you don't get caught up on anything, you can get away from them. And remain calm. That's one of the main deals. Got red door, probably not good. Usually associate red with bad. Got tape. Yeah, the game is uh, interesting. Looks nice. It's cheap, so it doesn't break the bank. Challenging, replayable, so not bad for the price tag. It's all new territory. To the persistent seeker, a world of caution as you, a word of caution as you progress. The entities here grow more aggressive the further you delve. Each time you use a key to open a door, they become aware of your advancement. It's as if they can sense your progress and it angers them. With every new door unlocked, their pursuit becomes more relentless. Stay vigilant and be prepared for the increased danger that comes with each step forward. The deeper you go, the more you'll need to rely on your wits and instincts to evade them. Stay safe and keep moving, fellow survivor. Yeah, the deeper you go, the more difficult the game will get, pretty much. I think this is where we escaped the man in the hat before. I just opened up a bunch of doors and hoped for the best. He's probably going to appear here soon. Blue door. There he is. Here. Now I can show that he can be our Rand. As long as you don't stop and do anything silly. through here and he gave up he is possible and I probably survived the longest on this run the one that I quit on pretty much after I stopped the first time, I decided to come in, just keep it going, see what happens. And this is what's been happening. Survival. But yeah, each time we unlock a door, the game gets more difficult. But we haven't unlocked a door yet. We don't want to go in there. But the main thing this game, the main thing this game is going to come down to is memory. If you got a good memory, I think you're going to do well. Go in this door. Not all doors are created equal. He always shows up in this room. I mean, we always make our way back here. 
That's the darkness door that we don't want. We've been in there. Red door, yellow door. I just like saying that. Red door, yellow door. Red door, yellow door. He's gonna catch us. Only because I didn't turn around. See, nine minutes, 36 seconds there. The longest ever. That's been red door, yellow door. <laughs> 